Now is the time to invest in eternity. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Mark DeHaan. By the end of the 4th century, followers of Christ were no longer being fed to the lions for the entertainment of Roman citizens. But the games of death continued until the day one man jumped out of the crowd in a bold attempt to keep two gladiators from killing each other. His name was Telemachus. As a desert monk, he had come to Rome for the holidays, only to find himself unable to tolerate the bloodlust of this popular pastime. According to the 5th century bishop and church historian Theodoret, Telemachus cried out for the violence to stop, but was stoned to death by the crowd. The emperor Honorius heard about his courageous act and ordered an end to the games. Some may question Telemachus. Was his action the only way to protest a tragic blood sport? The Apostle Paul asked a similar question of himself. Why do we stand in jeopardy every hour? In 2 Corinthians 11, 22-33, he chronicled some of his travails for the love of Christ, many of which could have killed him. Had it all been worth it? In Paul's mind, the matter was settled. Trading things that will soon come to an end for honor that will last forever is a good investment. In the resurrection, a life that has been lived in behalf of Christ and others is seed for an eternity we will never regret. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 30 through 38. And as for us, why do we endanger ourselves every hour? I face death every day. Yes, just as surely as I boast about you in Christ Jesus our Lord. If I fought wild beasts in Ephesus with no more than human hopes, what have I gained? If the dead are not raised, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Come back to your senses as you ought and stop sinning, for there are some who are ignorant of God. I say this to your shame. But someone will ask, How are the dead raised? With what kind of body will they come? How foolish! What you sow does not come to life unless it dies. When you sow, you do not plant the body that will be, but just a seed, perhaps of wheat or of something else. But God gives it a body as He has determined, and to each kind of seed He gives its own body. That was today's scripture reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 30 through 38. Let's pray together now. Give us courage, Father, to make and live by choices that show the difference the love of Jesus makes in our lives. Help us not to trade away eternal values for convenience and comfort. In your name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.